Hi everyone! In a few of the videos in this series, I've shown you how to make some tool meshes. We can just save these as projects and load those back up to use whenever we want. And that's just fine. But if you'd like to make them display as actual references instead, then that's what this video is all about. If you don't want to watch a long-winded video, you can check out the instructions here on the Body Slide Wiki. This process involves setting up an XML file that tells Outfit Studio what to do. This isn't difficult, so don't panic, but you will want to use Notepad++ for this. Trust me, it's going to make your life a lot easier. If you do not have Notepad++, simply download it from here and install it as you would any other program. It's quite straightforward. Once you've done that, you are ready to move on. The second thing we need to do is reorganize our mod folder a bit. I'm going to assume that you have saved at least one of your Outfit Studio tools as a mod. For example, the CBBE whole body reference that we made in the last video. Open that mod folder from wherever your mod manager stores your mods. Then open the Caliente Tools folder the body slide folder, and then create a new folder here called ref templates. This should be sitting here right along with our shape data and slider sets folders. Now, since our tool references should not really be visible in body slide, it is best practice to relocate them to a conversion sets folder instead of where they are right now in the slider sets folder. We don't have one of these yet, so let's create that too. It also belongs right here in the body slide folder. Next, we will move our project file, which is the OSP, out of the slider sets folder that it was saved to and put it instead into that new conversion sets folder that we made. I'm doing this by selecting the OSP file, hitting Control X, and then going to the conversion sets folder that we just made and hitting Control V to paste it in. This step is what separates it from an actual outfit project so that it will not clutter up the outfit list in body slide. If your slider sets folder is now empty, you can go ahead and delete it. It should look like this when you're done with any tools that you want to be references included inside. And importantly, be sure that they have two files for each in the shape data folder. The NIF that will have the actual shape and the OSD that is the slider set. With the reorganization part done, we now have to create the XML file. Let's copy the CBBE one to make our life easier. Navigate to the CBBE mod folder, open Caliente Tools, Body Slide, Ref Templates, and then use Control C to copy the XML file located there and go back to the ref templates folder that we made in our new mod and use control V to paste the CBBE XML file into that folder. Do a slow double click on it and change the name to whatever you'd like to call it. I'm going with mom's CBBE tools. If you have not used Notepad++ before, or if you don't have it set as the default program to open XML files, then you should go ahead and set that up now. You will thank me later. Once you've got Notepad++ set up as the default for opening this file, go ahead and double click on it here in the mod folder. Don't freak out when you see this. We will go through this step by step. What we've got here is this. The part colored in green is the name of the project, and you'll see that it can be located in one of two locations, either slider sets or conversion sets. The blue highlighted part is the name of the NIF and the OSD file that's located in the shape data folder. The part highlighted purple is the name of the mesh that's actually in the NIF. And the orange colored part is the display name when you go to the load references menu in Outfit Studio. The first thing we're going to do here is to delete the slider sets lines at the top. We don't need those because we are not going to put our tool references into the slider sets folder 
since we don't want them to show up in body slide. This is what the conversion sets option is for. Let's just put a few extra blank lines in here so we can see what we're doing a little bit easier. For the source file, again highlighted here in green, this is where we put the path and the name for our OSP file. Mine is called Mom's CBBE Tools and it's inside the conversion sets folder. So I change this accordingly. Next, the set, which is highlighted in blue, is the name of the NIF and the OSD file it's associated with this particular reference shape. I only have one right now. It's in my shape data slash mom's CBBE tools folder, and it's called CBBE whole body ref. So that's what I type here. Note that it goes inside quotes and you don't list any folders or file extensions. Third, the shape, which is the part highlighted in purple, is the name of the mesh inside the NIF. Open up your NIF and be sure you type the right name in here. Mine is called CBBE Whole Body Ref, just like the name of the NIF itself. Yours may have a different name and that's fine, just type what you've got in here. And this last part, the part in orange, is the display name. I'm going to call mine Tool colon CBBE Whole Body Ref. So I type that in here. There's no quotes or anything. And that's it. If you have other tools that you want to include, you can add those here as well. Just be sure you follow the correct structure and make sure you are referencing the same files and shapes on each line. After you're done, be sure to delete all the other CBBE stuff in here. You can always peek at this again from the CBBE mod if you need to see it for reference. Save the XML file and close Notepad++. Now open your Mod Manager, refresh or redeploy if needed, and then open Outfit Studio. If Vortex complains at you, just make sure you tell it that yes, you want to use your newly changed mod folder. In Outfit Studio, go to File, Load Reference, and as long as you set it all up correctly, you should see your new reference in the list. Select that and check that it all looks good. If it will not load, go back and check all the folder and file names to make sure they match in both the XML file and in the OSP file. If you'd like to add more tools to this same mod folder, you can easily do that by saving them in the same project. The only trick is that you have to temporarily move the project file out of conversion sets and put it into the regular slider sets folder first. Okay, let's do one quick example here so you can see how this works. Before starting, I open up the mod folder and make a slider sets folder, which will be here temporarily if I don't already have one, and then use Control X and Control V to move my OSP from conversion sets to slider sets. Let's say I want to add a backwards CBBE to vanilla conversion slider to this project. First, I make the new slider. This is explained in detail a few episodes back. You can see the card here and in the description. I'm going to do this super fast here. Clear Outfit Studio. Load in the Convert Vanilla to CBBE reference. I'm removing textures because, you know, YouTube. Move the slider to CBBE, then set base shape. Then go to Slider, New Slider, CBBE to Vanilla, click OK. Click the pencil, Slider, Import Slider Data, Import NIF. In the CBBE Shape Data References folder, select vanilla to cbbe.nif and hit open. Click the pencil to exit edit mode. I'm going to delete the original forward slider since that's already available as a reference in CBBE, so we don't need to have it here again. So I will untick my new slider and then I go to slider, delete slider and hit yes. Then I tick my new slider back on, test it out, and that looks good. So now we save. I forgot to change my project path while I was recording, 
as you will see in a bit, but you can do that now if you want. If you use Vortex, remember that by default, all the files are going to get mixed in with all the rest of the Caliente Tools stuff in your game data folder. If you use MO2, the default behavior is going to get a little bit weird, as you'll see in a minute. Okay, to save the project, we go to File, Save Project As. For display name, I will say CBBE to Vanilla and hit To Project. The slider set file is going to be the name of the existing project that we want to append this to. And to be sure it saves to our existing project, hit Browse and locate the project in your Skyrim data folder. Let me reiterate, do not browse to your mod folder here, even if you use MO2. Outfit Studio is pulling from the game's data folder right now either the real one for Vortex or the virtual one for MO2. So you need to point to it here. The same applies for the Shape Data folder. Navigate to your Skyrim Data folder in Caliente Tools, Body Slide, Shape Data, and the Mod folder, which for me is called Mom's CBBE Tools, and hit Select Folder. The name of the NIF will be the same as the display name since we hit To Project, then this is fine. And the rest of what's in this box does not matter since this is not a body slide outfit. Click Save. As I said, I forgot to do it this time around, but if you changed the project path in Outfit Studio, now is a good time to go ahead and just change it back to a blank line. Then navigate to wherever your project was saved and move the files into your existing mod folder. Move the new OSP back out of slider sets and back into conversion sets. And I won't actually show this until a bit later, but be sure your shape data NIF and OSD files for the new slider are also moved into the shape data folder. The last step is to add the new reference to the XML file. Open that up and then copy and paste an existing line and edit it for your new reference. The project will be the same. The set is the name of the NIF. Shape is the name of the mesh in the NIF. And the last bit is the reference name that you want to show in Outfit Studio. Here is where I discovered that I forgot to change my project path because my shape data files are not where I expected. And this highlights the interesting behavior of MO2. The OSP file was saved in the mod, but the new shape data files were not. So it appears that if the file already exists in a mod that is loaded, it will be overwritten inside the mod itself. That if the file does not exist, it will be saved in the overwrite folder instead. So in my case, the new OSP is in the mod and overwrote the old one while the new shape data files ended up in overwrite. This is not a big deal. I just need to know where to find them and then move them where they're supposed to be. With that confusion resolved, I finish up editing the XML with the correct file and shape names. Then save the XML, refresh or redeploy, open Outfit Studio, and test that all of my new references are working properly. And there we go. I recognize that this video and the last one cover things that you may not need often or even at all if you don't do a lot of outfit work. But I'm a big proponent of having the right tool for the right job and also a big fan of saving time and working efficiently. So if these kinds of references are useful to you, then in my humble opinion, it is worth spending the time to set them up once and then you have them forever. I'll also acknowledge that the process is a little bit fiddly, but hopefully you were able to follow along with this video. The key is making sure that all the file names and file paths match across everything. Good luck setting up your own toolkit. In our next video, we're going to convert multiple outfit pieces at the same time. And this whole body tool that we've just made is going to come in handy. Thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you again soon. Bye!